afternoon all. Um, I was touched by uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan earlier, and I just wanna, wanted to uh, share share with you all how exactly. It was this uh, story here. I was the king of sabotage, Ronnie O'Sullivan, on controversy, comebacks, and becoming a carer, which is quite interesting. You know, he's a very charismatic guy. He had a bad time with drugs and the, you know, had stints in the rehab. Um, in this interview, he's brought along his friend, 72-year-old Gloria, who ke- who's been a friend with him for 30 years. She cl- keeps him in check. She picks him up when he's on the floor. And uh, whenever he wins at a competition, he always feels a low, he says. Um, and uh, he says that, um, you know what? Just stay in the middle. I got up this morning and I felt a bit low after winning the World Championships. And I remembered every time I win a big tournament, it puts me on a low. But I've accepted it. It's just part of any high. Typical Ronnie, eh? Um, and then it just goes on about how the interviewer knows uh, Ronnie and so on. Ronnie slags off the quality of the standards of snooker these days. Most of them, talking about like the, uh, the up-and-comers, uh, youngsters these days, um, most of them would do well as half decent amateurs. Not even amateurs. They are so bad. I would have to lose an arm and a leg to fall out of the top 50. Sponsors winced and pundits apologise, saying Ronnie will always be Ronnie. You know. But he's... Um, but yeah, so there's a bit of that talking about. His partner's really solid. You know, she's been a, a rock for him and sort of... Uh, one of the lessons he's learned is uh, is to trust people less because he was too trusting. And now, and he's also upped his uh, mental skills game because he knows he's declining in skill, in, you know, physical, technical ability. But he's, um, he's used as a psychiatrist uh, and focuses and studies sport and greats for inspiration, exploring the mental side of the sport. Um, so he just, you know, his mental game is, uh, is up. And it really has. He's, he seems a lot tougher. But let's get to this carer's part, this caring part, so we know uh, he's been suicidal at times. Um, but look at this. This this bit just, oh, look at this. Oh, oh, Gloria, like, telling him what's what. That's always been his problem. Gloria says, sur- sur- surrounding, surrounding himself with beddings. I'm, I'm the first one to slag him off if he's wrong. Because that's what friends are about. What? What? What does she slag him off for the most? Uh, most often. For being stupid. For being too soft-hearted. I tell, I tell him to pull himself together and grab a pair of balls. Oh, well. I mean, do you know, that's what you need sometimes from people. Um, from friends, I mean. So, you know, they, 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 oh, this is this. Oh, Sullivan says, that is true. When I surround myself with shit people, uh, she'll be like, get the fuck out of here to them. I never know it's it's going on. She 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 won't let any anyone take a liberty with me. I'm a bit soft and she's not. Um, and then it goes on a year after that. Oh, he was conned. He conned someone conned out of 125,000 pounds. Took him three years to get over. Not the cash he said, but the trust that had been. Uh, you know what I mean? It's 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 a very delicate, fragile thing, trust. But anyway, let's get to this uh, care and thing. He loves his running these days, and there he is having a nice jog, looking very happy. Um, and he he loves jog jogging more than running. Uh, look, at, I asked him for his highlight at this year's World Championship. There's no switches with the light. Running when I was up 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 there, I'd wake up. And f- oh god, this accent's terrible. F, I've got to do this today. And then at seven forty-five, I'm running through the peaks, and I've forgotten about my snooker. I've had breakfast, had a shower, and a great run. And I think, oh. I've got to go and play a few games of snooker. So if the snooker goes shit, I've, had, I've already had a good day. I mean, that's a very good way, way to look at life. But let's just get to this carer's part. Ah, oh, God. This is it. This is where, I, where he started to touch me. This paragraph here. I asked him about the future, expecting him to talk about books, endorsements, punditry, and a bit of snooker. The one thing I thought I'd excel in was being a, in the care industry. He says... Is he serious? He nods. I can empathise with people in, in addiction. I could be it could be addiction, mental health, autism, anything. You're in the CQC game, 
So it's about providing a safe environment and getting people on their feet. This is great. I was, I was like, Ronnie, lad. This, uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Brilliant. And then he goes, he sort of recalls, recounts a story. I was in rehab in 2000 and it was the biggest life changer for me. It was tough, but what I needed without the 12 steps, without taking myself out of society, without going to the treatment centre, maybe I wouldn't have got to where I am today. Maybe you wouldn't be here. Full stop, I say. That's the interviewer. He nods. Yeah, totally. He, em he empathises with people who are vulnerable, he says. Would he be an active carer? Yeah. I'm not going to say I'm going to change people's nappies, but I want to provide a safe environment for them and make their life as happy as you can. We're starting off small. This is the thing that, sh which when he said that, I'm like, you what? Are you actually, you're actually doing this for real? You, and then listen, we're starting off small. One place, six or seven beds. It will probably be a place for people with mild disabilities who don't need 24 hour care. That's, that's great. He expects to settle on the premises in the next few months. When I finish snooker playing, I want to train as a counselor. I want to understand the business and the mental health side. This, and at this point, I start running. This is just brilliant, you know, to hear, you know, hear this guy um, just saying that and, you know, wanting to do that, this aspiring to do that in his, um, in, his, in his future. What's behind all this? And he goes, I've had enough of the arseholes. When I look at these people who need a care... Oh, yeah, let me stop doing that. I've had enough of arseholes. And when I look at these people who need a care home, they just want a roof over the head. Three meals a day, you give them a job to do, you take care of them. I've had enough of the dog-eat-dog -dog thing. I just want to be in a business where you're taking care of people. I think he'll be good at it, because that's where his heart is, says Gloria. You were so good to me when I was ill. I think it frightened you a bit. Lest I think she's soft. She loses the sentimentality. He'd earn money from the homes. We all want money. We've all got to live. <laughs> I still haven't burst out laughing. Nobody loves a pound note as much as Gloria. <laughs> anyway, he says he can run care homes and still play snooker. And maybe there will even be time for a bit of reality TV. He's considering I'm a celebrity now that the Australian outback has been replaced by a castle in Wales. I haven't read this part, by the way. You can, you can tell. It's not like Big Brother where you're destroyed. The worst that happens is they eat a few bugs and come out saying... I had a great time in there. If O'Sullivan ran care homes, what a contrast it would be with his mad, bad boy image. So much of that is a media construct, he says. If I'd been a bit savvy, I'd have a good agent. With people like Beckham, you see what they want you to see of them. I think people now see me and think, he's not actually a bad fella, you know. He's not as crazy as everybody thinks. He turns over in his head some people do still think he's a bit off the wall he had and he's he's happy with that we all fit into some sort of box and i appeal to the crazy gang the nutcases he shouts out suddenly like an excitable fan yeah go on ronnie so yeah i mean like the care home stuff uh, got me uh was touched touched me and um it was just nice to read that so you know what i mean i could a good a good positive uh, contribution or a slant or an angle spin on uh, on snooker